been seeing some snow in the Miami Valley enough to build this awesome snowman Lisa and her daughter built earlier this week. As you can see, uh, Dayton did pick up only six tenths of an inch this morning, but Beaver Creek, our weather checker Jim Robbins reporting 1.5 inches, Barbara Richards reporting one inch in Kettering, Tip City only about nine tenths of an inch. So. Oh, Dayton has picked up 2.9 inches for the month, and that still keeps our year or winter season snowfall total about 4.4 inches below where we expect to be. Right now in Springfield, no snow. A wind is out of the southwest at 6 miles per hour, dropping that wind chill down to 22 degrees. Notice the humidity is at 100%. We could see some fog develop, some low cloud coverage. There could be some freezing fog at times, if not even some drizzle. You notice Bell Fountain's visibility is down to about four miles out ahead. Springfield's still in good shape for now at about nine miles, but Dayton is down to seven miles, which doesn't really impact driving conditions, but just be aware you could run into some patchy fog. That could become freezing fog overnight. A look at our hour by hour forecast. We are going to see cloudy conditions continue. Mostly cloudy by the time you're waking up tomorrow morning. Temperatures will be in the lower to mid 20s for lows. 24 degrees the low in Dayton, 23 in Cincinnati, 22 further south into Lexington, Kentucky. A look at live Doppler 2 HD is fairly clear. We could still see a few snow flurries, but overall in your hour by hour forecast, what we're really tracking is rain for tomorrow afternoon and evening and even overnight. Notice a few snow flurries are possible around lunchtime, especially for our northern counties, but overall it's that rain and warming temperatures that we're talking about. A breakdown in future track shows the isolated snow really coming to an end. There may even be some patches in the in the cloud coverage overnight. Maybe you could see that snow moon, but overall we stay mostly cloudy, especially by Sunday afternoon. Then the rain begins to move in. Could be some snow far to the north, but likely most of the Miami Valley will stay wet and rainy. We will see some moderate to heavy rain showers Sunday evening that will continue overnight Sunday and even into Monday morning. A look at the rainfall total could be around a half an inch for much of the Miami Valley. Uh, some of us becoming uh, seeing less than a half an inch overall tonight. 24 degrees your low, mostly cloudy with a light breeze. Our winds will be out of the southwest. They're 5 to 10 miles per hour. Heading into tomorrow, it'll be 42 degrees, becoming mild with rain uh, afternoon. So after lunchtime, winds out of the south around 5 to 15 miles per hour. We'll see most of this Monday rain early Monday morning. So it's going to be Sunday into Monday. We will see widespread rain across the Miami Valley. Notice those temperatures staying above freezing, so that's the good news. Uh, no major road impacts heading into Monday morning, and we'll keep those highs in the 40s for the upcoming week, at least through Thursday, before we see the lows dip back into the 30s just in time for the weekend. It is going to remain an unsettled week. We'll see several periods of rain across the Miami Valley, maybe some rain-snow mix with temperatures a bit closer to freezing midweek, but. It's going to be a wet one. All right, not too much of a mess, though, at least because those temps are above freezing. That's pretty good. Yeah, except tonight there could still be some slick spots.